This is a sneak peek of Saxon math. We're going to look at kindergarten Saxon math and an intermediate third grade Saxon math. We're going to start with kindergarten. When you receive your materials for kindergarten, you only receive a teacher's edition. All your instruction and activities are going to be within this workbook. You'll also receive a home study meeting book, which I will show you here in a minute what that uh, means. Along with your textbook here, you'll get different manipulatives such as the, the counting blocks, or I'm sorry, the uh, unifix cubes, the bear counters, your Judy clock, dominoes, can be some three-dimensional shapes, uh, pattern blocks, and uh, tangrams, and your geo boards. So those are some of the manipulatives that you'll receive with your Saxon math. And the manipulatives come with uh, come for kinder, first and second grade mostly. There are some materials still for third grade, but I found that they're not usually, you don't really need them. Um, so parents can request manipulatives for third grade if you would like them, um, or you can do without. So briefly, let's take a look at just what the instruction manual looks like. Now, um, all throughout all Saxon, the lesson manual gives you scripted lesson plans. Um, so you'll see here that there's going to be a script for each for each lesson that you do. Uh, for kindergarten, <clears throat> there's two basic. Um, it's broken up into two two parts. Um, here's a brief overview, but you're gonna. It's broken up into the meeting and the lesson. And um, like I said before, this is the only book it comes with. So you're really your child's gonna be learning through hands-on experiences, discussion, and exploration in the kindergarten level. Um, the meeting is going to deal with your calendar work. And then the lesson is going to be the skill that they will be <clears throat> working on mastering. Um, evaluation for kindergarten level is just through oral assessments. And then the program is designed so that 12 lessons are taught each month. Um, so in most cases, three lessons will be taught each week. And then optional on the other two days of the week, you can repeat some of the calendar work, or you can just kind of have a free play with the manipulatives, or use those two days however you, you see fit. Okay. Um, so the lesson <clears throat> is going to start you off with a preparation, the materials you're going to need, and if there's anything you need to do ahead of time. Um, again, kindergarten is going to follow kind of a monthly routine. So you're working in the month of September here. Your meeting will be the calendar work. And it comes with a meeting, um, home study uh, meeting book here. And this is where you, you can find your um, kind of a black line master of a calendar. And you can use this for the months that you're working on. So all nine months are in here. Like I said, it's scripted for you, so you can either look at this the night before and just practice, you know, kind of just get the lesson in your head, or you can just pull this out and read through it with your child. And then you're going to go to the lesson portion, which is what is the skill that they will be working on. Okay, and um, that is how it is formatted throughout the, the whole uh, book here. 
Um, you will see some references to the masters. Um, this one references masters K14A and K14B. You can find all of those things at the back of the book. And it's just going to be either worksheets or shapes or different things you need to cut out and use for that lesson. You'll also find at the back of the book uh, some uh, different writing worksheets where you're working on number writing. And I would strongly encourage using these. Um, any type of writing that they're doing is just going to benefit them for the future. Here's some pattern work. Okay, so different worksheets kind of towards the end here of your teacher guide. And then lastly, you'll see also when they reference if it's time for um, an assessment, they'll reference it here at the top of the lesson. And like I said in the beginning, uh, for kindergarten, it's just an uh, informal kind of oral discussion type of assessment. So that's a quick glimpse at kindergarten. Now, kindergarten is special in that it doesn't come with a workbook. So I wanted to show you what, um, just a glimpse of what a Saxon workbook would look like. So I do have a set here of, this is intermediate third grade. It's not your basic third grade. Um, I did order basic third grade, I thought, but this is what I got sent. So we're just going to work with it. Um, unfortunately, they did not send me a teacher's manual, so I have the student view to show you right now, and I apologize I don't have the teacher uh, guide. So let's just go with what we've got here. Um, within you, they gave me this textbook here and also this student workbook, and really they're one and the same. Uh, you'll see that the uh, the workbook here goes right along with the textbook in that it let me get to the right spot here um, come on lesson one it pretty much shows you an exact copy of, of itself um, you're gonna find a little more information in the textbook so if they're stuck on a skill or just not getting it for some reason, you might need to refer to the textbook, but um, you might be fine just using the workbook and your teacher guide. Anyhow, the lessons when you get the workbooks, and I believe this is the same throughout most of the grades, is that you'll always start with what they call as a power-up activity. And it gives an explanation here at the beginning. Um, the first part of your lesson is going to be the power up, which includes a practice of basic facts and mental math. The second part of your lesson is going to be the new concept. And then the final part is going to be the written practice. There will also be some investigations um, that will be thrown in about every eight to ten lessons, it looked like to me. And this is going to be more of a, a lesson that will take you know, your entire day to kind of look at and figure out. So back to lesson one here. Actually, we'll, let's move into um, yeah, we'll stick with lesson one. So we've got your power-up activity and you can see it in the textbook. You also get your own power-up workbook so you just have the one page of the workbook to do every day as your power-up activity for facts, mental math, problem solving. So you'll have one worksheet a day for the power-up. Then you're going to get into your new concept. And the new concept, um, again, is going to give you this, the skill that you're working on for that day. And then you will go into your workbook to be able to write, um, write out and practice that new concept here um, in, in the workbook. You'll have a page to, 
to do your practice and write down the answers. Okay. Um, and then you have your written practice. Again, it's in the textbook, but it's also in the workbook, which is where they will record their answers to the written practice. Okay. Um, so that is just, you know, again, how the lesson is uh, formatted for each day. If there are things that they want the teacher to know, they'll reference them in, in a little box here at the beginning of, of each lesson. Um, so you can be prepared for that. And let's see here. The investigation that I said they throw in, you know, every 10 or so lessons. This is an example of the first investigation. So they're focusing on pictographs and bar graphs. So this would be your lesson for that day. And then, um, oh, here's just another investigation, working with money. Okay, so I'll flip through, get an idea. Again, this is the textbook, but the textbook is very, very, very similar to what your student uh, workbook looks like. And quickly here, I'll just flip through the workbook where they'll record all their answers. Okay, um, along with the workbook and the textbook, see, I already showed you the Power Up workbook. They'll have one lesson to do with that each day. Um, you'll have also a testing workbook, and so it will uh, give you uh, your testing schedule, so it will tell you when you need to give each test. And then here you have all the tests and assessments for the year. And finally, you have your solutions manual with all your answer keys. So again, I'm sorry I don't have the teacher's guide to show you, um, but this at least gives you a glimpse into the Saxon math. Another thing that I just read on their website is that I believe starting in the fifth grade level, um, they have now put together instructional uh, DVDs. So one of the uh, Saxon instructor has um, put all of these lessons into an actual you know, DVD like the math you see in the teaching textbooks. And so um, I think that will be very helpful too for those of you who really like Saxon and want to use it for the upper grades. You'll now have that um, option to choose the DVD to go along with it as well. So here's your sneak peek of Saxon math. If you um, have more questions or think this will work for you and um, want to talk about it more, please give me a call. Star Williams at 503-758-3636.